Inspiring, I've got a, a very inspiring man next to me. A great fighter, a great name, a uh, big face from the world of boxing. It's Kevin Mitchell. Um, three time you fought for the, the World Championship. Fantastic fight against Bradis Prescott when you beat him up in Newcastle in, in my hometown. Jorge Linares, you know, we'll talk a little bit about that, what a fight that was, yep. and um, what a fantastic performance you did in there. Just lost out, never quite getting a world champion, but one of the, one of the, one of the best fighters that never won a world title, Kevin Mitchell. What do you, first of all, I've got to ask you about this game, because we're here to see BKB. Yep. What do you make of it? I think it's really good, you know. Watching it tonight for my first time and seeing it from my own eyes, the crowd's lovely. They're very much respectful in the ring. They touch it. Every time there's a break, they slap hands and show respect. And they have a dust-up. I think it's great. Well, you're, you're a man that was never afraid of a dust-up. Yep. So um, how, how do you, would you have liked to have had a go at this? Do you know what? I would have liked to have had a go at it, yeah. No, perhaps I'd do one, but the deal would have to be right if I'd done it. <laughs> oh, you mean you still might do one? I'd do oh, one, but the deal would have to be great. right. Yeah, of course, yeah. But um, I, I really liked it tonight. There was good, the atmosphere is decent. The crowd's happy, the fun crowd, I've got my kids here. It's one of my boys' birthdays, so yeah, I've, I'm enjoying myself. And there's been some excellent fights. You've seen a bit of everything from the, the early fight, Will Chope showing good boxing skills, yep. you know, for, for, for an MMA fighter and a kickboxer showing good skills. And you've seen a bit of the power and a bit of the ruthlessness and a, yep. bit, a bit of, you know, how tough these guys are. Very tough guys, you know, as you said, and you've also got the boxing side of it. So you've got some guys that are thinking smart, that are doing the seven rounds. They're thinking about the strategy of the fight. Instead, you've got the guys in the free twos. They want to go in and get the job done, which is the different aspects of it, isn't it? So you've got the seven-round fighters and the three-round fighters. It's been very good to watch and see how they, they go about their business. Well, Rob Boardman showed us you know, what, what a, a boxer who's got a very good pedigree. He's 6-0, 6-0 yep. as, yeah, was, with the gloves yeah. on, and he won in the first round and looked pretty sensational. Yeah, good left hook dropped him, and then I think he finished him with a jab. Yeah, you... you that boxing experience, you can see that the ones that have got that experience, as you can see with that fight, he went out and nailed it straight away. Like, and his, his ability was a lot more higher than the rest. I do believe, which I said to Jim, the promoter, in the space of the next 10 years, you'll see this fight, this sport, excel and come big, and, but the boxing will be a lot more higher standards. Definitely. Can you see, I mean, we've got Tyler Goodjohn, who, yep. you know, who's a quality, quality boxer. He's, old sparring he's, partner of mine, yeah. Old sparring partner, partner he's, yeah. he's yet to, to, to come. But um, can you see more fighters making the break and coming over to, if they're not getting the fights in, in, in boxing? In the pro coming game, over yeah, and it's hard. You know, being an issue with the top promoters, it's hard to get a living at the pro game. And obviously, Jim's paying, paying people, paying good wages out here. So perhaps so, if, if the fighters ain't getting in the, in the pro game, which they're struggling, then there's a lot of good fighters not getting the bat. So and they might think of turning into this. Yeah, of course. And I think in time, this sport will, will, will build up and become a lot bigger than what it is. Now, I've got to ask you, Obviously, a stellar career. You know, I was yep. one of, commentated on, on most of your yeah, career, career and, 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 yeah. and thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed my time doing yeah. that. What are you doing now? I'm coaching now. I'm looking after a young fighter called um, Louis Lin, who's an ABA champion, GB champion. He had four fights, four wins, four knockouts. I put a lot of my time into him. I'm in the West End, training in a gym called BXR, St. Joshua's Gym. I'm working a lot in there, getting my living in there. I'm just enjoying retirement life, really. And, you know, it's like I was saying to Robin, like, once you retire, the pressure's off you. So much pressure's gone. Like, you know, every day you've got a lot of pressure on your shoulders. Until that day you think, you know what, I'm done with it. The pressure gets released and you can enjoy life. I enjoy my kids. Just enjoy a normal life. I'll go out and have a beer without getting told off now. <laughs> but that's always a bonus, yeah, isn't it? That's definitely. always a good thing. And when, can you see yourself coming along to, to more BKB? 100%, I'll be 100%. My boys are really enjoying it. They're, they're up, in, <laughs> up in the stand in the Kings. Uh -huh. They mess with dad is really good. They're enjoying it. So, yeah, 100%, I'll be a more often. Oh, well, that's excellent. It's brilliant to see here. I know, yeah. know we've got Enzo McInally, McInally and a yeah. few other fighters yeah, are, it, yeah. are here to watch this. But we're going we're gonna to get over back to ringside. Great to speak to you, yeah, Kevin. Love you to see I'm you doing see you well. Again. And glad you're back in, in the ring. We don't want to lose you back oh, yeah. training. So it's great to have that. Yeah. We're going to go back to, to Lee now, who's going to bring in the America.